last time. What did you do with Greenlee? Did you send her on some wild goose chase? And why would I do that? She told me what you've been doing to her, dangling the possibility that Leo may still be alive right in front of her. Did you get her to believe it? I mean, would you really spit on your brother's memory like that? If my brother Leo was still breathing, the whole world would know it. I can't wait to get home. Oh, real bed and real food. And little Trevor is my cutie patootie roomie. You do have room for your old mama at your place, don't you? Why are you looking at him? You don't need to. This is between you and me. In fact, you can go. Mom, he is my husband. He's not going anywhere. Oak Haven burned down. It's not like you were released. So? What am I supposed to do? I'm just wait here until they rebuild that hellhole? No, my place is with my daughter and with my grandson. Janet. Why are you still here? Well, want the truth? Because I'm not going to leave you alone with your daughter, that's why. Okay? I wouldn't hurt a hair on her beautiful head. Hey, Janet, can I ask you a question? Are you the one that took a match to Oak Haven? to his family. Are uh, Mom and Marion okay? Yeah, I exhausted. They were almost asleep before their heads hit the pillow. No sign of Dixie? Did this just really happen? Yeah, pretty sure. Dixie just walked into this house, alive and breathing. Yeah, after all that time, she's alive. Oh, my God. Tad. Oh, God. Kara. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Griff, my husband's ex-wife could be back from the dead. I mean, I think that is need to know, wouldn't you? Okay, even if that were true, and that's a huge if. Tad and Dixie weren't together when she died. He moved on. What? You haven't been around him lately. He, he can't escape her memory. I mean, even, even if he tried. You know what's crazy? For the last few days, I've been feeling like you're everywhere. Like I could just reach out and touch you, you know? Right around the next corner. Now nothing. You know, she'd take a couple of crickets, a horny frog. Wouldn't be too much to ask. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this one out on my own. Dad? Go, that wasn't too shabby. Dad? Oh, Lord. OK. 
Okay, what is this? What's happening? Dad. JR saw you. And so did Kathy. Is this how it was with them? I mean, are you a ghost? You and Tad are in a good place, right? Yes, we are, but... But nothing, nothing. Listen, go on this trip. Have a good time. I'll deal with David and see whatever he's up to. Okay? Kara? I heard you. Good. <laughs> now tell Tad I say hi, okay? Okay. And don't forget your sunscreen. Mwah. Are you going to let him talk to me like this? Janet, the clothes you were wearing into the hospital all reeked of gasoline, and your and your burn marks are sort of splash patterns of an accelerant. Well, who so died and made you Sherlock Holmes? Mom, this is serious. I'll tell you what's serious. Me wasting away in a padded cell while my grandson is growing up, and without me, why don't you ever come and see me? It's his fault, isn't it? Did Jake forbid you? No, it's just that... Life has been really complicated lately. Well, tell me about complicated. Honey, tell your mom everything. Start with yourself. Actually, no. Start with little Trevor. Well, Trevor is amazing. And I really don't know what I would do without him. Especially lately, now. Why? Why lately? Why? Why now? Oh, are you leaving Dr. Downer here? Now, that's a good idea. Mom, no. Jake has been... A godsend. He is my rock. Is it or is it not the 21st century, Amanda? You do not need a man to lean on. Even if I have cancer. What? I have cancer. It's crazy to think that Alexander Cambius was telling the truth. That manuscript that he sent to Ryan, confessing to the Satin Slayer murders, but denying that he killed Dixie. It turns out nobody did. I've... I'm just... I'm taking it all in. It's... It's been a mind-blowing day. No, there's something else. Griffin has been working with David. Okay. What, working on what? On some project. It's called Orpheus. I don't really know all the details, but... I just know that it's it's how David brought Greenlee back after her accident. Back. Oh, you mean back from near death? Yeah. What, you, you think David did the same thing with Dixie? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. You, you got all upset when Mom mentioned something about David. Is there something you're not telling me? Okay, first... Greenlee, then Dixie. People we thought were dead. You don't think that... No, Zach is gone. He's gone. And there is nothing anyone, not even David, can do to change that. Come on, Zach. Please, open your eyes. Kendall. So tired of what, exactly? What do you think? The accusations, the suspicions, not to mention the blatant law-breaking. Next time you want to ransack my office, ask. I'll give you the damn key. Oh, because you've got nothing to hide, right, Yeah, Edward? that's right. Look, I came here to discuss something with you. I'm proposing a truce. You get off my back, stop digging around my personal things. I'll tell you whatever it is you want to know. The whole truth and nothing but. You might want to look up the concept first. Are you in or are you out? Okay, fine. I'm, I'm in. I'll play. Just tell me where Greenlee is. And 
here, I was expecting something original. Fine, tell me about Project Orpheus then, and you can leave out the orphanage story, okay? I thought Dr. Castillo already filled you in on that I one. I want to hear it from you. All right, fair enough. Orpheus is a miracle wrapped in pure genius. Mine, of course.